Let's talk about intermittent fasting while you're working from home. So if you are working from home, you may wonder how does intermittent fasting fit with that? Is it going to be good or not? And I would say it's actually a really excellent way to lose weight while you're working from home. I have worked from home this entire time during my weight loss journey, and I continue to practice intermittent fasting uh, in maintenance mode. So I am always working from home and I'm also doing intermittent fasting. And I found that there are a lot of advantages. And I would say the biggest advantage here is that intermittent fasting helps you to be very productive because when you have a space of time where you say, I am absolutely not going to eat during this period, you can get a lot done because the thing about hunger, you know, if, if you've never done intermittent fasting and you're, and you're just starting out, you kind of have this feeling that uh, as soon as I feel hungry, then I need to eat something that like I'm justified every time. But with intermittent fasting, you have to start telling yourself like, no, I'm not going to eat right now. I'll eat later. And it really showed me how often I would procrastinate uh, with eating. You know, I would think, oh, well, I'll, I'll do that other thing. But at first I need to eat. You know, I need to have a snack so that I can have energy. But intermittent fasting takes away that option and it kind of forces you to sit down and do the work. And another advantage here is that Intermittent fasting, because you're not eating during that time, you know, you may be able to spot some patterns in your thinking. Maybe you don't enjoy your job very much, and maybe you're using food as a way to kind of uh, medicate that. So I would encourage you that if you find that you are really frustrated because you're really wanting to eat while you're supposed to be working, you know, work through that and think about what is it, what are you resisting or, or maybe what are you not enjoying and then make changes based on that. And I found that there were several things I could do to make intermittent fasting feel easier during my fasting window while I was working. One thing is taking breaks. Now, when you are just eating like normal, that's like a normal way we take a break is to say, okay, I'm going to stop for lunch or I'm gonna stop and have a snack. And if you are doing intermittent fasting, there can be this temptation there that you're just gonna work all the time and you're not gonna take a break, but that can be really exhausting. So instead, still take breaks. Like I would always take coffee breaks. I still do. I'll, I'll stop. I'll have my coffee with half and half and I'll enjoy it. And then I'll get back to work. I also found things like LaCroix or unsweetened tea or just, you know, plain water, just drinking that, like have, you know, stopping what I'm doing and drinking that uh, when I would start to feel like, oh, I'd like to, you know, sit down and have a snack. That really helped. It also helps if you can really get into a routine, you know, uh, it kind of depends on your job. You know, you may have a really set schedule and maybe you don't. Uh, if you're an entrepreneur, you probably don't have much of a set schedule. And that can be uh, a bad thing when it comes to intermittent fasting because you may start to move around your window a lot. I found it easier to keep my window at the same time every single day. And that really helped because my body would get hungry at that set time every day. Uh, moving my window around made it so that my hunger kind of moved around. But if I kept my window at the same time, then it was very predictable. It was like, I would not really feel hungry until about 30 minutes before I normally ate. And lastly, you know, if you're finding that you're, that you really are hungry during, during your fasting window, you're trying to work and you are truly actually hungry, then make sure that during your eating window, you're eating enough. You know, ideally, I, and I, I firmly believe that if you're doing intermittent fasting and you're eating enough, you're going to feel good during the fasting window. You'll have increased energy and increased focus, which can help you be really productive. But if you're not able to do that, it, for me at least, it's always been that I've not been eating enough during my eating window. If I'm having those kinds of problems, I'm not able to focus or I feel really tired. That just means I need to up my food intake. And like with anything else, this all is an adjustment. You know, when, when if you're just starting to work from home or if you're just starting to do intermittent fasting in conjunction with working from home, uh, it, it is an adjustment, but over time your body gets used to it and then it becomes like second nature. So I hope this video has helped you. Remember, just take it one step at a time. If you have a video topic you'd like to request, you can visit the link in the video description to submit it on my website. Thank you for watching this video. I want to take a moment to let you know about my second book, Overcoming Weight Loss Obstacles, How to Keep Going When Things Get Difficult. There are frustrating obstacles that appear on every weight loss journey. Things like plateaus, slow weight loss, and dealing with emotional eating are all things that I have had to overcome. And in this book, I take you through each obstacles and I give you tips on how to overcome them. It goes all the way from getting started with weight loss through the weight loss phase and on into maintenance. I give a case study at the end of each chapter that talks about my experience with that obstacle 
And it even talks some about the things I still struggle with. I've found that the obstacles are actually the things that will make you stronger and that will teach you the most about yourself. To buy the book, follow the link in the description.